Hi guys, welcome to another video over here. It's your girl Michaela Copeland here. Just a quick update. Um, just now I got off the phone to Sins of Advice because it's been nearly five months since that woman crashed into my living room and I've had enough. It should have been done months ago and no repairs are taking place and I'm pretty, pretty angry. This is just a quick life update. Um, also as well, <coughs> um, a couple, um, last week I did send off my details to the Salvation, Salvation Army Family Tracing Service because I really want, want to get back in touch with my elder sister Kaylee, which I haven't spoken to her for about 10 years. And I really want to get back into contact with her because I feel that she should know that technically she's got a little bro little sister now, aka me, and I really want to get into contact with her. No idea whether or not it would work, but you don't know until you try it. Um, Christmas is coming up and it's... The last three Christmases have been really, really difficult for me because I've been disowned by my family and I don't really see much of them. I do want to get back into contact with them because my dad allows my younger brother to stay over despite the fact that he burgled him and I've done nothing wrong by being by coming out because I've known forever. I've known since I was a kid that I'm a girl and I just want to say I just want to say to my dad that he had not found me as a parent I've done nothing wrong and at the end of the day what would he rather have a dead daughter or a living daughter and it just really is quite a difficult time um Yesterday I did have a really good dance lesson and next Thursday, um, not Thursday, next Tuesday at 7 o'clock we got a private lesson and um, I'm definitely coming and my tutor, she runs my class and three other classes and people from all three of her classes, we're going to have um, a private lesson, we just got to pay £7 which I'm really looking forward to and <clears throat> my teacher is she's really been really really impressed of how hard I've been working these past couple of months and fingers crossed I can move up up a level to the next class so but you never know I still might need more work having a hot chocolate here which I have craved for since I started hormones, I also crave pickles and gherkins and sushi, which I know that can be a thing. And also as well, I started getting into guys. Now, I never ever thought I would get into guys because throughout school, I hated being grouped with the boys. I was with the girls all the time because I've always been a girl. And... It is surprising, which I have heard it can, hormones can change your sexual preferences. But again, I do not like guys who send dick pics because why on earth would you do it? I mean, you wouldn't, a guy wouldn't get it out in a town centre, so why don't I think it's appropriate to do it online? And I have had to block people on Grinder for it. And it does clearly say on my profile, you send a dick pic, you get blocked. Um, also, um, God, and um, yeah, it's been really, really cold lately. Which yesterday, it nearly took my breath away. Which um, I really do feel the cold, and I don't understand these people who in winter. Wear shorts and t-shirts. I think they must be bloody mad. Um, eleventh of next month, so after New Year, I got my names for my extensions, which 
I've got in front of my phone, I've currently holding my phone um, a couple of um, cases of contour which I've run out of and um, it's the 11th of January I'll get them, um, I've got my next maintenance session which when you have extensions put in or after you have maintenance it does make it um, difficult to sleep in because you have in effect got bees in your hair and in your head so yeah um, I'm hoping um, next week that I can get back on to blockers because I've been without blockers for six months and my testosterone has got pretty high and um, yeah um, I did ask my Jenny Kling about re review of my hormone doses because I'm on six milligrams of estrogen a day but again without blockers my testosterone has risen I really really hope I don't have to take <coughs> the injectable blocker because it means a free monthly injection in my butt and I do not like needles I always get nervous when I first put that needle in when you have blood work which um, I've got a follow-up appointment on the 8th of February and that's just before I talk about my hormones and so fingers crossed I'm getting my second recommendation for surgery which June July next year so not very long to wait I could put my name on a list for surgery which I'm hoping that my dad will finally accept me because my dad keeps making this song and dance about surgery he keeps on going on about one, I have had surgery, and two, that I'm going to regret surgery and that I won't be able to go back. Now, people who knew me before, they can clearly see I'm a lot more happier than who I was than before coming out because they're just me living a lie that I was a guy. And now I'm just a bright, happily happy trans girl and um, no way on earth do I regret the only regret that I have got is not coming out sooner now people at school even though I've totally changed my name they all remember how miserable I was at school and again they understand why I didn't come out there and then because um, I was bullied quite a lot at school and if I came out of school um, the bull would get a million times worse and my family would say that oh you're only a kid you should wait until you're older well I waited just over four and a half years ago to come back when I was 31 and my family has hated me since September 2018 when I legally changed my name when I was 31 they claimed I needed his permission and that he didn't know Eldest brother said that I should have picked a gender neutral name and again asked for my dad's permission despite the fact once you reach 18 you have full body autonomy and you can do what you want and my younger brother claimed that I was forcing him and bullying him and even when I do dress fem even if even though I do dress feminine I get it from him that I dress feminine in the wrong way and I need help picking the right stuff. Now, as you know, I do love alternative fashion and I really, really am into pastels. And I know so many girls who dress all different ways. I know the ultimate, like, girly girls and the other side of the coin, the complete tomboys. And... Um, yeah, like I can't win with them. So this is just a quick update video on what's been going on with me. Do be sure to smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. And also press subscribe so you see more videos in the near future. I am going to go back and start doing makeup videos again because it's been... A while since I last done makeup. So anyway guys, this is this Michaela Copeland of the Michaela Show. Much love to you, wherever you may be in the world.
I'll see you so soon, everyone. Bye.